All right, guys. Hey, welcome back to the shop. We're uh, in the process of working on this 250XR now that I bought so I can ride with my grandson, and we're going to start off with this seat. Uh, pretty hammered. The foam underneath, as far as I can tell, is still in pretty good shape. Uh, but that cover is hashed. So, uh, and we're going to do the same thing with this bike that we did with his. This old petrified original sticker on here, that's got to go. We've got to clean up this tank. Uh, we'll pull this pipe off and we'll repaint it. We're going to redo these fenders uh, best we can. We'll get that fender redone. This one here, this front fender's got some pretty good gouges in it. We'll try to scrape those out the best we can. And uh, and then this number plate, you see we got this blue on here. That's all got to come off. This is just garbage. This, uh, this is so messed up. So I bought some aftermarket hand guards we're going to put on this bike. Then over here, We've got our side plates. They're gonna have to be uh, cleaned up, get this blue paint off of them and that. And uh, get this thing fixed up and looking just like the little bike, as close as we can. But for right now, we're gonna pull that seat off of there. We're gonna take the old seat cover off. I've got a brand new seat cover upstairs. And we're gonna get that seat recovered first of all. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so uh, first thing you've got to do, and we've already started taking some of these out, but you've got to dig these old staples out of here. So just get you a little flat blade screwdriver that you can get under the staple. Some of them we have to pull out you can only get the one side to come out. And then we can uh, pull it the rest of the way out with a pair of needle nose pliers. But this staple here has gone completely through the fabric.
soaked in some water and just kind of cleaned up. There's a lot of dirt, uh, smudgy stuff under there. It doesn't have to be beautiful and clean. You don't see any of this, but I just wanted a clean surface here to stretch over. We had a couple of staples that had pulled through the fabric that were still in the plastic. We didn't want to leave those in there because you need to be able to, uh, if you're putting a new staple in, you hit that staple, you know, and then the staple might tear the fabric, whatever. So, so all our staples are out. That's all off of there. Now we do have a couple of small issues on this seat. We're missing a little bit of foam right here. And I don't really think we're missing foam right here, but the way they had the duct tape on the seat caused this big indent in the foam here. Now I've got, I've got this old sponge, car washing sponge. It's not quite as heavy a foam as that is. But I think if we cut us a couple of little pieces and put them in there, and then we'll just lay a piece of duct tape over that, uh, I think we can kind of fill these in, and that way our seat cover will look real nice and smooth when it's done. Well, uh, we got this seat recovered, guys. I couldn't get these wrinkles out of here. Uh, this wrinkle here is where they had the seat folded in the package. And I've tried six ways to Sunday to get that thing out of there. I've re-pulled the staples and re-stapled it numerous times and tried to stretch it. And that wrinkle, that big wrinkle just isn't gonna come out. This littler one here, I think, will just kind of go away over time. But that big one's just, it's going to be there. But that's a far cry better than, uh, than the torn up, duct taped seat cover we had on there. So, I'm not real happy with the way it came out. 
I tried and tried. Like I say, I pulled, re pulled the staples and restretched it and tried working from one end to the other and from the other end to the other and side to side and stretch and pull and restaple till my thumbs and fingers were just killing me from pulling on that seat cover to stretch it. And I just, that's it. That's as good as it gets right there. So, um, but that looks a whole lot better than that mess right there did so uh, overall I'm happy with it it's not torn or ripped or taped all up so that's better than it was so anyway that's the first part of getting this bike kind of fixed up got to put these hand guards on I've still got to refinish the plastics my graphics were supposed to be here by yesterday but I checked on them, they won't be here till Tuesday. So I've got a lot of good stuff to do to get ready for the weekend because all this stuff's got to be ready to go by next weekend for Labor Day. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put our bracket on the handlebars. So we need to pull these little Allen head bolts out of here. came all assembled like this so kind of nice I guess you don't lose any of these little bolts or whatever so there we've got our bolts out now this comes with this plastic liner in here uh, so it helps, it grips the handlebar better, I think, with that in there.
they are, both of them on the bike. They look pretty good. They should, they're brand new, the bike's old. But I think we got them fairly straight, even. They look even to you. And this one here may be a little bit lower. Yeah, I think we might have to loosen things up and twist this one up just a little bit to get it the same as that one. We're a little low on this side, but um, anyway, you get the idea. Pretty simple to apply. You can order these off of Amazon where I got mine and uh, got you some hand guards. So not too bad. Uh, yeah, I'm going to adjust this right hand one here a little bit, bring it up a little bit, but that's easily enough done. I don't have to loosen any of this in the handlebar anymore. I may have to loosen it off a little bit, but still, I'll just loosen that bracket down there on the handlebar. Uh, I'll just loosen these four bolts back here. See, we've got four Allen head bolts back here. I'll just loosen those and twist this up a little bit and re-tighten those down and then this will, they'll be even. But yeah, pretty easy. I didn't, I didn't know how hard they were gonna be, but it's not hard and it's not hard to do a pretty clean job of it. They really almost look like they're meant to be there. So there we go, hand guards on the 250XR. And I think these will work with any kind of dirt bike bars. You may have to bend the bracket a little bit in a vise or something. If it doesn't lay just right, like I said, the left one laid fine. And the right one was teetered, tipped a little bit. But I think that's because my handlebars are bent. So um, I'll eventually get a new set of bars and put on this bike. But there you go, guys. One more step closer to going to the dunes. I appreciate y'all watching. Always be careful when you're working in your shop. Use your safety gear. Take safety measures. And uh, keep all your fingers and eyes and things like that. Uh, take care of yourselves, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.